Yeah, so basically my talk was about uh, games as systems and what that means is that a system is a, is a concept that you can use to try to break games down into parts and, and that can be useful for both analyzing games, understanding what you know, makes them uh, fun and interesting, uh, but also for game designers like myself to sort of think about your when you think about new game concepts, how to come up with new games in a more structured way that, okay, uh, what elements and parts does the system need to have and how do you want to design them in order to try to, for instance, create a particular emotional experience in the player. So, uh, so my talk was really about how can you conceptualize that kind of a complex thing as a, as a game, as a system, and what are those parts and, and how should you then think about their interaction how can you analyze that? And uh, to give an example, uh, I suppose pretty much everybody has played Tetris. Uh, so that in, if you think about Tetris as a system, it has different parts and elements. So for instance, those so-called tetraminos, those shapes that come down and then they interrelate to each other by f you have to fit them, you know, in the best possible way to keep the game going. But also the game has different, uh, this game as a this system has different elements like the, what I call the environment. So it's basically the space, that sort of a, a grid where you place those uh, Tetris blocks in Tetris. And then there are certain rules uh, having to do with how which block comes next, uh, how do those blocks disappear, uh, how does the tempo of the game accelerate so it becomes more difficult. And all those aspects are really uh, aspects of uh, game rules that you can then discuss under different categories with this uh, system perspective. I mean, any festival that can sort of, uh, I would say, celebrate the diversity of different games out there, I, I think, uh, you know, play, is a fundamental, you know, human activity, or even even animals play, and you know, and and basically, I mean, uh, people shouldn't stop playing when they turn adults. For instance, uh, obviously, kids need to play; that's their work, so to speak. And uh, so, any festival that is able to, you know, bring different kinds of games on display into into a city and people who don't necessarily think about games that much and and sort of open their eyes that there are stuff going on with games and, and, and all that. So I think it's positive, very positive and, and should, should happen all around the world.